Kashmir is among the most famous countries of the world and is celebrated both for its attractions and its wonders. In spite of its renown, no one knows anything about its present state nor can any of its features or its history be learned from the books of former writers. At this present date of Muharram 950, know that I have subdued this beautiful country and seen all that is notable in it. Whatever I shall write will be what I have witnessed. The second time that I entered Kashmir and when I had not reduced the whole of the country, I drew an omen from the Quran, with reference to its conquest and to my becoming established here. The verse that turned up was, Eat of the daily bread from your Lord, and return your thanks to him in the shape of a fair city. The Lord is forgiving. The plain of Kashmir extends from the Bakani quarter, which means between the south and the east, towards the Rikambain, which means Northwest. It is a level expense about 100 kruh equivalent to 30 fersachs in length. The heat in summer is so agreeable that there is at no time any need of a fun. A soft and refreshing breeze is constantly blowing. The climate in winter is also very temperate, notwithstanding the heavy snowfalls, so that no fur cloak is necessary. In fact, its coldness only serves to render the heat yet more agreeable. When the sun does not shine, the warmth of a fire is far from unpleasant. In short, I have neither nor heard of any country equal to Kashmir for charm of climate during all the four seasons. In the town, there are many lofty buildings constructed of fresh cut pine. The beauty of their exterior defies description, and all who behold them for the first time bite the finger of astonishment with the teeth of admiration. The passages in the markets and the streets of the city are all paved with hewn stone, but the bazaars are not laid out as they are in other towns. In the streets of the markets only drapers and retail dealers are to be found. Tradesmen do all their business in the seclusion of their own houses. Grocers, drudges, beer sellers and that class of provision vendors who usually frequent markets do not do so here. As for the fruits, pears, mulberries, sweet cherries and sour cherries are met with, but the apples are particularly good. There are other fruits in plenty sufficient to make one break one's resolutions. Among the wonders of Kashmir are the quantities of mulberry trees, cultivated for their leaves from which silk is obtained. The people make a practice of eating the fruit, but rather regard it as wrong. In the season, fruit is so plentiful that it is rarely bought and sold. The holder of a garden and the man that has no garden are alike. For the gardens have no walls and it is not usual to hinder anyone from taking the fruit.